So today I saw a link somewhere, I can't remember where, honestly, that took me to this web page, which offers five fantastic free phone tricks. Um, what they don't tell you is that these tricks actually you can only use if you have data plan on your phone. So for probably most of the United States, it probably won't help, but that's not really why I brought up this page. But it'll be interesting to actually look at this page and figure out if this is a good example of why page views are something that won't die soon. Um, here we come to a page that you know has has a bunch of ads. There's an ad up here on the top, um, internal ad here, lots of navigation, some content which we'll come back to, more related content, top stories, and so forth. We scroll down the page, you get another ad, um, you get some additional, I guess, ads over here. Um, so we continue down the page, we see some navigation here, some more related content, sign up for newsletters, mobile blogs, top stories, readers' favorites, additional resources, editor's choice, white papers, continuing coverage, more ads, more resources, more topics, featured zone, all zones, uh, resource center, some more links, partnered content, sponsored links, and if we go all the way down to the bottom, we then get another nav bar and a network of links and then a very long copyright statement that says that you will not do anything with this content. So if we scroll back up the page, you can see that, I mean, there's just a ton of stuff on this page. Um, I'm not exactly sure why there's so much on this page, frankly. I don't know if anybody actually uses any of the things on this page um, outside of the content. But what I wanted to talk about was actually the content. So um, here's a good example, right? We have a page that has some content, right? We actually don't know how much. It's probably only about four or five paragraphs because with all this other crap in the middle you don't get it but it's this part right here that is the reason why page views won't die soon um, I think a lot of the really large content portal sites use this page navigation to jump between pages and each one of these pages actually loads up another complete page so if this content was to be either moved onto one page as I wish it was or if um, it was using some technology like Ajax or something to refresh the page, then you would never actually see all those page views. And for, I guess for a site like Computer World or part of IDG Network, they need those page views, right? Because more page views equals more money. So um, I find it kind of interesting. What's What I've always done when I see pages like this and I don't feel like clicking around is I just click the, the print the story link. Um, and when you click on that link, you actually get everything on the same page. So I think that's been my kind of sneak attack method, um, if you will, to get around that kind of thing. So anyway, I just thought this was kind of an interesting site because it's absolutely overwhelming. Um, I can't frankly understand how any usability engineer would ever create a site like this unless they wanted to jam every single friggin' thing they possibly can on this page. The only thing that's not on this page is a pop-up, pop-under, or a layer ad. Um, I mean, you can click on this, I think, and get something, but... Um, yeah, so those are the only things that aren't on this page. Everything else is there. I mean, if you want a one-stop shop for every possible kind of navigation, here it is. Anyway, just wanted to point this out as part of the Interaction Metrics series. Alan Stern, centernetworks.com.